Jeff Waters, man. <laughs> man, that's that's a loud voice you got there. Yeah, good, good to be here at Mesa again. Yeah, absolutely. So you are with Annihilator. You founded Annihilator. It's about like 33 years ago. 50 years ago. 50, 50, 50 years ago. Okay. I think December 1984. So it's a we're a very old band now, but I don't feel it. I don't feel old. Yeah. Okay. But you are the riff legend. You are in Germany. Really, you are. <laughs> well. Absolutely. One of the many metal guitar players that have been around for quite a while and love what I do, and it's a lot of fun to be able to continue to do, to do yeah. this. Okay, so you're here today for the guitar camp, yeah. and you play your own rig here. Yeah, normally yeah. normally I'm here for uh, Gibson Epiphone, yeah. Hughes and Kettner and all this, but this time it was, uh, I don't think they're not here at the convention this year, so guitar camp was kind enough to invite me here and uh, get to play, practice some guitar and play and have fun with a, a, new, a new piece uh, to our rig. You mentioned Houston Kettner. We, we're using the. Um, oh, he's off. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Okay, sorry. Um, front uh, front of the amp this time. We're going to use the Helix. We used that on the album that we just recorded, our 16th studio record, and uh, this Helix was perfect in the studio for us. We tried about 12 different real amplifiers, Kemper, Fractal, uh, Helix Line 6, and a lot of them, and that one won the shootout for us. Okay, so Helix was your taste. Yeah. Well, I thought I was going to be, uh, I signed up with uh, Line 6, and I thought I was going to be using the Helix. Of course, I am. It's on our record, I'm going to use it. Um, <laughs> but then I also had this uh, informal deal going with Hughes and Kettner for many years, so I asked, could that, could I still keep that deal, and we'll run the Helix into the power section of the, uh, the new, um, what is it, Grandmeister 40 yeah. behind me. And uh, it was perfect perfect for me because I didn't have to lose a great company like Houston Kettner that's been good to me for many years and who make great products. And I also got to add on the Mighty Line 6 to, to our, uh, you know, gear list. So it was worked out perfectly. Okay, so gears changing sometimes. But but you played uh, the core. Uh, what did you play before? Well, I've, been play, I've been playing the core blade The core blade, not the switch blade, yeah, the core blade. 2009 yeah. or something yeah. around that time or 10. And then we switch over to the Grandmeister 36. And right at the time they switched, you know, they talked to me and about this Grandmeister 40, I kind of decided I think I'll probably go with a Helix. Uh, but then I realized, hey, I mean, combine the uh, the two power amp sound of the Hughes and Kettner and add that to the Helix in the front end, that's, it was perfect. That's it, okay. Yeah. Okay, so let's hear your guitar, man. <laughs> that's an old one. That's an old one, right? Yeah. It's all beaten up and everything. Yeah. It's, uh, it's one of my original uh, Annihilation Epiphone guitars. It's a, kind of my baby. I don't. I don't think there's too many of these around. And this is a black one. The, the red ones are common. The black ones aren't. So this one I keep on tour. And as you know, uh, I don't change the parts very much, and I yes. <laughs> I beat them up until they stop working. So this one worked out great. And then I've got one of the new. Uh, oh, hang on one sec. Over here. That's a newer. This is Annihilation Two. Great name. Annihilation One and Two. Yeah. Uh, and this one is not how you buy it in the store. I put a little Scully sticker on there, of course. But uh, the FRX by Floyd Rose, I got the, them to put this on the stock uh, Epiphone Annihilation 2 guitar. Put this on as a trial, and I just left it on there, and I've got a couple of these. It's fantastic. Yeah. Works great. I don't usually use a whammy bar or whatever you call it, tremolo, but uh, I got re really used to these guitars, so awesome. Okay, very cool. So how about live playing Germany? So you have any, have, so you have any festivals? Yeah, well, we did. We had an album called Suicide Society out in uh, 2015, and we did almost 18 months of touring off and on for that. So it was a long schedule of touring, uh, two or three summer festivals involved in that. Uh, I mean, festival seasons involved, plus a couple of headline tours in Europe and other places. And, and uh, when things are going well, companies, uh, record company, and everybody wants you to get right back out there, and I want to I get out there too. So we recorded another album. We're going to release it, I think, in the fall. and. Canadian tour in June, summer festivals. We we play at Vakken again this year, in the summer, and then we start fall touring and spring touring here in Europe. So we're going to be here a lot in the next year. It's a lot of work. Cool. It's fun. Okay. <laughs> nice to have you here, Jeff. Yeah, thank you for having me. Thank you.